guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be giving you my Booktubeathon TBR. Booktubeathon is a fun readathon that happens every year, and it is a week long. It's hosted by Ariel Bissett, and I will leave the Booktubeathon YouTube channel linked down below. That's where you can get all the information for it. This is running from July 30th to August 5th. So there are seven challenges for this readathon, and some of them I really like, some of them I'm not. I don't know, I'm not too excited about, so we'll see how it goes. But I do have a book picked for each challenge, so here's what they are. All right, challenge number one is kind of fun. It is let a coin toss pick your read. So you pick two different books, you toss a coin, and see which one wins, and then you read that book. So for this one, I thought it'd be fun to do a NetGalley book, and I have a lot of books on NetGalley that I need to read and review, and I want to really start getting better at that and trying to pick one or two a month to read. So I'm going to get on NetGalley and I'm going to see which book was the oldest approval for me. So the one that's been on there the longest that I still need to read. And then I'm going to see what my newest approval is. So the most recent one that I've been approved for. And between those two, I will flip a coin and see which one's going to win. So my oldest request and approval was The Newsmakers by Liz Wheel. And my newest is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. All right, so for my coin, I actually, I have an Air Force coin that I'm gonna use. And this is a coin that my husband gave me. So my husband's in the Air Force and they have this tradition where you can collect coins and you get coins for certain things and each squadron has a coin and it's kind of a fun little thing. So he ended up getting me an Air Force wife coin. So this side has Air Force wife on it. And then the back side has like pink camo with a woman on it. So I'm gonna toss this instead of a quarter because I'd probably lose it if I dropped it anyway. All right, so I have the newsmakers and the last time I lied. And I will make this one heads because there's a woman on it and she has a head. And then this side is gonna be tails. So I guess heads will be my oldest, so the newsmakers. And then tails will be the last time I lied. So let's see if I can do this without breaking something. Oh God, okay. <laughs> All right, Tales, last time I lied. All right, so The Last Time I Lied by Riley Saker is the first book on my TBR and that's fun, that's a new release. So I'm excited about that one. Challenge number two is to read a book about something that you've always wanted to do. And some of the examples that Ariel used was, you know, if you've always wanted to travel to Paris, read a book about someone who goes to Paris. And so that was kind of fun. I looked through my shelves, I wasn't sure what was gonna stand out to me because I was kind of like, what have I always wanted to do? I don't know, <laughs> like just, I don't know. But then one jumped out at me and I went, yes. So I am picking The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend by Katerina Bivald. This is a book about a woman who opens a bookstore. And I have always said, especially probably in the last 10 years, I would love to just have a cute little bookstore, whether it's used or new or both with like a little coffee bar and just, it would be my little happy place. And so I'm gonna pick this one up. I'm really excited about it and hopefully I'm gonna love it. Challenge number three is to read a book and then watch the movie adaptation directly after. And yeah, I had a few options for this one too. I just wasn't sure what I was in the mood to watch really. I have to be in the mood to watch a movie. But I went ahead and picked one, so hopefully this will be a thing that happens. But I picked Gerald's Game by Stephen King. So this is one of his shorter books for sure. It's still pretty long, but I think it's gonna be a quick read. And the Netflix movie is on Netflix. So um, I want to read and watch the movie, so I guess I could do that that week and see how that goes. This is also on my top eight books I wanna read this year. So that would knock one of those off too. So I'm really gonna make sure I get to this one for sure. Number four is to read a book with green on the cover. And I was really excited that I have a short book that is part of my birthday reading project that has green. And so I was really excited. So I'm going to pick Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. And again, this is a short book, so I think this will go pretty quickly. And I've been hearing amazing, amazing things about it. And I'm just really glad that it fits in this challenge. All right, the next challenge is not my favorite. <laughs> I think it's kind of silly, <laughs> but okay. So <clears throat> this challenge is to read a book while wearing the same hat while you're reading the book. So the entire time you're reading whichever book you pick, you have to wear the same hat the whole time. 
All right. Sure. I I have a visor somewhere, I think. I think I have a Georgia Bulldogs visor somewhere. I have to find it. I just don't wear hats and I don't, my husband doesn't wear hats, so we don't have a lot of hats. I don't know. Um, so for this one, I'm going to pick extremely short book and it's on my Kindle. It is a book that I actually picked out of my TBR jar for the year and I haven't read it yet, but that is The Language of Dying by Sarah Pinborough. So this is a book that I can get through quickly and it's really short. I can probably read it in one sitting. So I guess I'll be wearing a visor at some point during the week. This next challenge is cute and that is to read a book with a beautiful spine. I really like this challenge because we always talk about the covers of books and what books look like you know, on the cover and all this stuff, but so many publishers have taken a lot of care to actually make the spines beautiful because that's how we put our books on the shelves. And that's how you initially see the books when you put them on your shelves. You see the spines, you don't see the covers right away. So I think that's a really cool detail that publishers are paying attention to and I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna pick The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. This is a dystopian book, I believe, and a lot of people have been reading it and talking about it and people still talk about it and just talking about what a great surprise it was. They were surprised they liked it so much. But the spine has a knife on it. Isn't that cool? I just love it. And it's a fairly short book and it's a young adult, so I think it'll go pretty quickly. And the last challenge is to read seven books. So nothing specific, it's just read seven books. And since there are seven challenges and this is the last one, I went ahead and just picked a really, really short book off of my shelves. And I picked The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I have read a Neil Gaiman book earlier this year. Was it early this year? No, I think it was later last year, actually. I read the Graveyard book and loved it. So I definitely want to get more into his writing. I've collected a couple of his books since then, and this is definitely by far the shortest, and it's just, I can fly through this really quickly, probably in one sitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this on there too. That is it for book two -bathon. I'm really excited to participate. I'm excited to see how many of these books I can get through. If I can get through all seven, I would be ecstatic and just really, really happy about that. I will be vlogging my reading for this readathon. So there will be a wrap up vlog coming at the end and I'm really excited to share all that with you and just to make this a really, really successful booktube -a This is one of my favorite readathons that I do every year and I just always have a great time doing it. So I'm excited. Let me know down below if you guys are gonna be participating and if you haven't heard of it or you wanna jump in, make sure you check out the booktube -a YouTube channel down below. There's also gonna be tons of challenges throughout the week. There's video challenges for booktubers. There's Instagram challenges. If you're on Instagram and wanna take pictures, there's gonna be giveaways and prizes and all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of stuff going on for booktube -a I am in one of those, sometimes I'll do Instagram pictures if I have the time to do it, but I don't make the videos because it takes a lot of time away for reading for me. And so I just kind of read and let that be it. Sometimes I'll do some Instagram challenges, but we'll see how it goes this year. All right. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon.